Hey everyone, Ammo here checking out Sandwalkers, the 14th Caravan. This is a prologue demo to Sandwalkers. It's trend in games recently to make kind of like a separate product as a demo, but it's not just a slice of the main game, it's its own thing, and then you call it a prologue. And this is that for Sandwalkers, which is going to be a roguelike exploration, tactical combat, caravan, escorting type experience. It is currently has a Kickstarter running. It's also on Steam. Both those links will be below, below, of course. New run. This is my first time going in blind. It's the big day, Maka. The name of the Council of Casts. I hereby name you our 14th caravan. Tetho, Sasako, Vrij, and Banka. Seem to carry hopes to carry through the hopes of Maka. May Umama. Okay, a lot of like, a lot of uh, sci fi, fantasy, just gobbledygook words in there. That said, you'll take this with you. A present for the cancel, not for you. It's the inhabitants of Yaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please pass the kindest wishes of the Maka tribe to the Terracer tribe. If you get that far, that will already be a great help. You're in the tree city of Laquasi. This is where your journey begins. In cities, you can trade, gain information, gather supplies. Uh, as you begin your journey, there's not much to do here. Click the buildings to get additional supplies, and then press the door button to leave. Orchard. Got supplies. Hotel. Got supplies. Pharmacy. Got some supplies. Merchant. I imagine that's what we're escorting, but I don't want to sell that. I don't want to buy stuff, just because, whatever. I'm, 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 I don't know if we even have any money. Council is advice for us, nothing more. I imagine these are people. Honor, Mancer, Teller, Protector, and Botanist. And leave. Okay, we're on the way. And, le and leave. We're on the way. Unlike tales of past caravans, there was no guard of honor, no ovation, no sacrifice, or blessing beyond the usual words. The counselor came alone, by obligation. The 14th caravan with just a teller, a botanist, a protector, and an anaromancer, left for the Fithi in total anonymity. We felt as though we were the last. Some would say that we were the first. Okay, so we are a caravan escort. Gotta say, a caravan of a single thing? I, I believe a caravan usually implies... Like a wagon train, like multiple things. Unless maybe you're talking about a Dodge Caravan. Now that you've left the Quasi, you started the exploration phase. During the exploration phase, you control the movements of your caravan. When your caravan moves, it reveals tiles that are distance equal or smaller than its reveal distance. Starting reveal distance two tiles, tiles you have not revealed yet are hidden. You can encounter various creatures, places, and situations in Uwandu. Some will be dangerous, others beneficial. Access quest tab, upper left corner. D it does things. Caravan status of our members. Okay, it's a lot. You can also use objects. Cool. Feedback caravan. So these are our boys. I like the artwork. Good quality. They have stats. Mm, okay, they have non-combat stats as well. That's very good. So they have, Looks like they have combat stats and non-combat stats. I like that. So that way characters can be always helpful. Even if they have like some sort of combat thing that's not really working for you, they can still help you outside of combat. I'm not going to manage any of that because I don't know what's going on. And our quest is to get to Yaya. And some people don't like us. I like the implication that this is a journey that used to be very exciting, very like celebrated, and now it's it, it's not. We're kind of just doing it out of obligation. And maybe something went wrong in our society and our society can't afford these celebrations anymore. Or maybe it's something more cultural. I don't know. That's something to probably figure out more in the base game. So, well, here I'll grab this well. Gives us some bonus supplies back. We have lots of supplies. So we drain, we seem to drain supplies as we move. I don't, I just wish I knew what direction Yaya was. I, I, I'm just, I just kind of picked a direction. Ghost Town, just like the rising ebbing tide, Uwandian sands covered and covered entire cities. Yo, search, search, search. Made way in the ruins in search of forgotten goods and found cloth. Fantastic. If I. He's neutral. It says neutral, so I probably don't want to fight them. And they don't seem to be attacking me. It's 
small herb. We can grab some more supplies here. I, I don't know. Passive Dream Catcher text places steeped in history in a fortex around the caravan. Interesting. Passability Poet creates sonnets when meeting non macaw people. If I walk on them, do we actually combat? I should have figured that out. Trust reduced damage dealt by 25% while exploring the map during events. Some plants become edible for a small quantity of supplies. So these are all passive abilities. Like, I can't click on them and use them, they're all passives. So each class has different passives to operate on the caravan as it's in move motion. That's pretty cool. I imagine in the full game there's going to be a lot of different classes we can choose from. Try to build out a caravan that works uh, a caravan that works in a different way. So I, the pirates have to be hostile, right? What if I walk next to the pirates? They walk into me. I walk in that radius. They attack me. Makes sense. It says they're neutral, but this looks like combat. This does not feel neutral. You tend to combat. Yeah, that's definitely not neutral. Does that when we encounter hostile creatures and people in combat, you are trying to defeat your opponents while not being murdered. Yeah, you don't say. Each character present in battle has initiative. Okay, so an initiative game. Life and shield. Shield regenerates at the end of the fight, but you do not heal. Okay. So you have like a toughness mechanic. Character dies if they lose all their HP. Again, you don't say. This seems like a weird setup. We have a snail. I feel like the elephant should probably be in front. They threw some spears at us. They're very fast. So this is our teller, who I guess is a bard type creature. Oh, there's a lot of words. Deal six oneric damage to a target and impair them. Deal pure damage. Stun if they're buff or debuff. Parlay. Both the teller and the target lose their shield. Increases loot by one. Interesting. Steals two speed from a target. The front apply is poison the one. Okay. They don't have much shield. You don't have much shield either. I, I don't want to lose our HP though. They don't have a ton of shield. It's probably not worth it. How much health do you have? I can't tell. I can tell how much shield they have. I don't think I can tell how much health they have. I can. I have to click on them, though. Wait, is that Sasasco? That's my Sasasco. You. You there. 25. You have 25 health. And you're back there. We can impair you. So you'll hit me less hard. Wish I could see your shield. Um, dude's head's in the way. Increase constitution of an ally. And applies vine, so you do buffs. You also impair them. You heal. Very good. There's also just a block button. And steals two speed. And what? That must be a, like a racial ability, because these two are both snake people. So that must be a racial ability. What if I make one of you a little slower? Blech. See if that does any good. I don't know. And he gave you more armor. Elephant guy. Stacks of protection. Protection. So you, you take the damage instead. Shield. It's like a shield taunt. Shield bash. And do dizzy. And steal shield. Do you just bonus shield? Dude, take that guy's shield. He has 20 shield. You have 40 shield. <laughs> what the heck? Why? What? This formation seems wrong. Deal of damage. Steal a memory. Deal of damage. Deal damage and apply weakness, but also damage yourself. And shell. You just you can buff our ally. Okay, we're not really doing much damage, we're kind of just buffing ourselves. That doesn't seem very efficient. That was a ton of damage. Didn't he have like 20 health? Okay. We need. We don't seem to have a lot of damage. Oh, that was AoE. That's nice. Alright, so you need to do some damage, because you actually do damage. What about the pure damage? Do a... Just punch him. Just slap him. The guy with the guitar is does the most damage. Let him go for it. Fifty percent shield, so you're mostly buffing your allies. I want you guys both to have a lot more shield. You do some damage. Steal his memories. That was kind of sick. I like that. 
You don't need to heal. Just keep him. Oh, that's AoE. That's right. That's fine. He's AoE debuffed. Fine by me. This has a cooldown. Okay, some of the attacks have cooldowns. Probably should be trying to use the abilities with cooldowns as often as I can. Uh, no, let's kill him with the guy that steals memories, because I don't know what that does, and it sounds good. Apply protection. Protect you. Now you take the damage instead. Oh, this has a cooldown. This one. He's dead anyway. We just didn't steal his memories. Ah. Oh. So that much just hit. That's that much just hit the entire front row. Whoever's in the front row. So that seems like actually a pretty good ability. I want you to punch that captain so he stops buffing that guy. And then you can also bash the captain. And then just bash the captain. This guy needs to be dead. Didn't shed him off. Okay, it's just the. No, the captain's dead. It's just the scoundrel left. Scoundrels seems like a weird name for a. Stop it for a creature that. Uh, appears to be magic magical. Did I just do no damage to him? Does he have a lot of resistance on or something? Okay, I don't love this squad here. I feel like they could probably use a little bit more damage. Like a very defensive squad. You win. Hello, friends. Do I choose what I'm gaining, or am I just gaining these? You no, know, these are things I'm just... Oh, I can... Oh, 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 I'm taking all of them. Wait, did I not? I didn't. I was gaining all of those, and I just dropped them, didn't I? Whoops. Could have tutorialized that. It's fine. Uh, uh, Probably a minor... A pretty minor mistake. Distilled water. Lots of bonuses for us there. One, two, three. So I don't think it actually helps us. We'll take three supplies to even get there. So let's just go here instead. Do I have a map? Cactus. Let's look for rare plants. Our botanist. A. Oh, I like that. I like that. The some events you get special bonuses riding specific characters. That reminds me of Gloomhaven. Something Gloomhaven did was that certain characters would give you bonuses for certain events. Okay, this seems unproductive. I feel like we are lost in the wilderness here. Sad I gave up all my loot for <laughs> the battle. I had got it backwards. Oh, it's Yaya. I wonder if we accidentally went in the right direction or if it will kind of randomly spawn when you get a certain distance away from where you are. They announced that they would help us. They spoke of a split... A sp Silt Pit, a rare form of terrain where tree cities could take root. We could not have hoped for a better instruction for the next part of our journey. Desert, they gave us some supplies. Council, they suggested we stay a while. Stay a while and listen. Character is healed, we had taken no damage. The merchant is where I would sell that stuff that I would have had if I was smart enough to have... Uh, smart enough to have actually picked it up. Nopal berries, I don't necessarily want... Why do I want this stuff? I interesting. I'm interested in why I want these things. I don't seem to be able to can I use them? Do they provide supplies? But are we have a separate supplies mechanic? So I'm very curious on what like I'll take some herbal I'll take a herbal cure, sure, and I'll trade. I'm just not sure why I'm doing that. If there are events that will acquire certain items, if it's a a uh, commerce system where some cities will sell certain supplies, you know, at, at different rates, so you want to trade between the two, or or what have you. So there doesn't seem to be any like equipment there for me to uh, purchase. 
If I click on my boys, I can't do anything with them. So we will just leave. And that... Well, excuse me? I thought we are going to a pit. That is a massive scorpion. It is an item. These are actual items. And it gave me... Okay. So I can use the food to turn the food into supplies. That just has to be up here. The understood. Can I click back on the town? I can. Go back to the merchant. So what if I... How much money do we have? Where's my cash? How much cash do I have? Do I have any cash? Okay, that's a value trader. Okay, well, we don't have the funds. I was going to play around more items and see what they did. Guess we go to the giant scorpions on our map. Through the desert. The crystal statues seem to watch us with sadness from distant time as feeling pity for our strange and terrible present. Extract his memories. Tap into his crystal to obtain a millennia of memories. What does that actually do? Forgotten memories, not a usable item. The seventh caravan. The valley itself seems to speak to us. Here lay the remains of Rampant Spigorns and Mantillus Macaw Caravan that vanished and perished in the Tithi. We had found Tolua, the seventh caravan. Listen to the corpses? It, it's ghosts. The memories locked within Relic Souls last one was the seventh more than 150 years before. Told us the location of a unique discovery. What kind of discovery could be worth the sacrifice? Okay, I unlocked. Do I actually have that somewhere? Find the seventh discovery. But what direction? I would love a compass. I feel like a compass would be a very nice addition. Quite a mountain here. Grab the easiest supplies. So do certain tiles take more supplies? Doesn't seem like it, but that might be something that would be interesting to explore. Because um, it would make sense, right, if you're in a desert environment, it would require more supplies to move than an other environment, but that might be too like complex and take just way too much effort to actually... Like, it'd be like a balancing issue. Like It might be too hard. If you make the desert cost two supplies to move through, that might actually just break the game. Like, that might be too much, even though it's... Like, it's just one supply more, but it's also double the number of supplies. So let's... What happens if, I, if we do a fighting with this guy? Let's go ahead and fight. Let's do another combat. I don't feel like we've had a lot of combat, and I want to actually gain loot this time, because I messed up and didn't pick up any loot last time. We have a very slow party as well. Makes I didn't move our formation at all. Sir, are you going to go? Okay, looks like we just quit and reloaded, and it did fix itself. Got guys that spit, throw knives, and scream. And we're going to slap one in the face. Immediately break their armor. You have very low armor, but you don't seem to be getting attacked too much. You are? Uh, open wound, though. That's probably bad. I like these spores. Debuff, tiny bit of damage. Hit the snail, that's fine. Yeah, hit the beefy boys, that's fine. Don't you have a thing that generates... Yeah, it generates yourself some shield. Shield this one in the back. Mass Nightmare. Oh, this is an AoE. Does... Your, do you block your own damage? Like, you take three health damage to your armor. Looks like you took three armor, because you're still fine. Leave. Stop doing that. Stop. Stop doing this. You need to stop doing that. Pr protect her, elephant man. Death Pulse does a lot of damage. See what it has a... Does it even have a cooldown, or can it only fire once? That mental... Okay, this guy. This... this The snail is... is a beast. <laughs> he, has, he does so much damage. It has so much armor. Also, can you heal yourself? can indeed. Eat his brain. I don't know what the memories do, 
but I like having them. Oh, this guy's pretty hurt now. Can't finish him. Uh, you need to keep generating shields, but this is on cooldown. Oh, protect the healer anyway. Reduce right. their ability to put out damage. Oh, and then you just nuke them because you're very strong. Or you can. Oh, you can buff your. I don't want him to do things that aren't murder. This is the most lethal snail in gaming. What if we drain your armor and steal to get bonus money? It's not going to do anything. Do you have anything? Steal a shield, doesn't have any shield left. Apply protection. The, the target provokes all units attacking a single target. So if I do that on you, is he now forced to attack you? Because you're provoked. Yeah, maybe. Should take advantage of the... No, you are on cooldown. I don't know what it means by increased constitution. Just now does so much damage, I love it. You, you win, so we just don't press anything. These are what we are getting, and this is our wait after saying okay. Like, don't drop them on the ground. And now we can use that to gain presumably more supplies. But if we don't turn them into supplies, I expect we'll be able to trade them in the future. Large op opun Apuncha. Supplies not seem to be a problem for us. Let's go. I to, we're fighting a scorpion. Is this suicide? Let's find out. Hello, friend. <laughs> You're giving a big boy. <laughs> the weather is unleashed here. Storm removes two shields from each allied character at the beginning of their turn. Oof. Big oof. Big oof. Uh, can't you just... You you take all of his shield. That's actually so strong. You even have any shield left. And then I want you to... And parry him would be nice. You can also reduce his speed. That might be good. And hitting him some poison is probably good. I don't know if the poison wears off or not. You need to... Apply protection. Apply it to the bard, I think. And then you just start attacking. Not a lot of damage. Can you just keep stealing speed and slowing him down and stacking poison? That might be really... What if we just abuse that? Is there... Can we abuse that? It's at zero speed, I think. Raise some shields. Put shields on one that sells a stack protection. We should apply mental weakness, so let's just do more damage over time. Not more dot like damage, but let us over time as we're fighting do more damage. He got his shield back. Applies Vine, which cancels attack. I'll put that on you. And you have protection on? Does that do anything? I can no longer parlay you. I can slap you with the... That didn't do much. Damage increased by 25% of the caster's shield. Okay, so you want to stack more shield, that gives you a lot more damage. Fortunately, you don't have too much shield. Could stack shield here. This storm is annoying. We're taking a lot of damage from that. You're doing. It's a lot of damage, but he's a lot of shield on. And in turn deals the number of stacks of damage. Doesn't seem to be going down. I am feeling. I mean, impairing it would be nice. It's not impaired right now. So let's debuff your attack. And I think just keep stacking the poison. You stack.
stack up a ton of poison. Oh, he also could, if he does get shield back, we just steal it. I think I messed that up. We can only protect one target at a time. Good to know, which we knew before. I'll give you some shield as well. Ow. Oh, we're fine. Actually, that's, that's okay. We can steal like three shields. It's kind of weak. It was two shields. We stole two shields. Probably wasn't even worth it. I don't feel like we've taken that much damage yet. If we stack shield for... Oh, we can just take your shield away. Completely. And then I can hit you with... Uh, defense. And then generate... 7 shield for you. Or just keep doing damage. Might be at the point where we need to rush them. Oh yeah, we'll go to the damage. We need to rush down. After taking away his shield, it'd be silly not to attack. But we are now ourselves kind of vulnerable. We are we are taking some damage here, but you're almost dead. 20, 25 for what? 20 25. 20 what do you mean 20 what? Was that was that 20? Oh, you're gonna heal the okay, you're gonna when you're done doing your stuff, you're gonna okay, I understand that. Probably have a. What's your health at? Seven. Let's hit you with one more venom. So now, no matter what, you're gonna be dead. So let's just try to debuff you and defend ourselves. Now you can throw out a shield as well. Now, if the armors, the armor apply against the shield. Or do you gain shield? Or maybe just applied against the shield. Or the poison, I mean. Which is unfortunate. It's not what I want to be occurring. It's only three damage. Ugh. Yo, if it's not Lizard Man, like, no one's doing anything. But Scorpion is dead. We gained six poisons. Congratulations, oh. botanist. You have planted a new tree. That's how you plant trees? countless discoveries for the future of the macaw and uandro. You just crush spiders? Of course. You crush scorpions? This is but a dream. A simple taste of that which awaits us. The real world, beyond the trees, has a great many more surprises than you could imagine. Ready yourself. There is much ground yet to travel. And that was it. That was the the end of the 14th caravan. We did it. We planted a whole tree. We had to fight a band of pirates and a giant scorpion, and we survived. Congratulations. Uh, oh, we can try it again with a new character. Oh, that's really cool. They give you a little unlock in the demo, in the prologue. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, can you please? The, the video itself is the feedback. Thank you very much. If I hit new run, I just want to check out the new, I just want to look at the new characters really quick. I do, so I really like this idea. I like that you have like a grid-based arena to explore. Uh, instead of, so the trend has been since Slay Aspire, you have the branching pass. We saw it just recently in Oakenfold. I do like this idea that you are sort of open map exploration that you get to go and discover things and you have to manage your supplies in survival fashion. I think that's kind of neat. How do, I, how, how do I draft the new people? How do I... Is it random each time? Okay, the hunter. So the hunter's abilities. Work work in progress. Okay, thank you for, for that. They deal fire damage. Apply leech. Deal damage. Deal damage. So go to damage dealer. This is very nice. And... Didn't say there's a different one as well. The hydromancer. What was the hydromancer about? So having a, new, a different damage dealer is cool. Liquid damage, interesting damage type, liquid damage, air damage. So another damage dealer. Uh, so the initial squad they give you is very defensive, it seems like, but then they give you some damage dealers, which I like. Also, I noticed that there's a larger, more than four 
up there. I wonder if in the full game you can have larger caravans or if you have like a bench, you have a B team you can swap out with. Anyway, that was Sandwalkers. If you're interested, check out the Kickstarter Steam page. I think it's prom. I think, I think there's some promise here. I think there's some potential. I like the artwork. Uh, the some of the combat has. I mean, it's a darkest dungeon-ish combat system. Maybe just because the first team's kind of defensive, it felt a little slow. And I'm just you know throwing whatever best ability out there. Uh, maybe some more time with it. Because the, the the snail had some cool combos. So maybe some more time with it. You develop more combos and more interactions between different characters to make the combat seem a little deeper that could just be a, a you know experience uh play time kind of thing anyway thanks for watching check it out like i said i enjoyed it like comment subscribe all that as long as outro ever Bye bye <laughs>